Hello people, um, welcome back to the channel Capricorn and welcome new Cappies for the May reading. Um, I hope you're well, it's a heck of a changing month. Um, May is feeling very dynamic and I'm seeing signs of that coming through in your reading. Um, so Capricorn, the first card out for you, I'm going to I've pulled some oracle cards and some tarot clarifiers. Um, there might be a few more to come out, um, but let's see what's going to present for you in May. Um, <laughs> so this is the underlying energy. Is there's definitely a change coming in. Mm. And with that is going to come some kind of completion. Because for every birth, there is death. So when we create, we destroy, like we break an egg to make an omelette. Um, and so it might be that some of your inner, inner narratives get challenged. It might be that um, you pull from a different part of your resource. Because the, the next two oracle cards are very etheric. They're very dreamy and feminine. They're a bit high priestess. So Yin is going to bring in the feminine, receptive, creative mind. Um, quiet time, sitting still, maybe meditating, tuning in, listening and observing. And being reminded we're coming into eclipse season at the end of May. So Yeah, I can feel this kind of slightly pushing energy in my body, wants to push forward, wants to take action, wants to move, wants to get this thing done. Very Capricornian. But here we have this beautiful feminine energy that wants you to sit still. And I don't know what that's going to be like for you. Wants you to sit still because You have the serendipity card, okay. When we sit still, let's say we sit still in the energy of an impending change. You might already be feeling this in your body. When we sit still in the energy of change, all we're looking to do is to watch and wait and learn. And then what will happen is pictures will start coming together um, synchronicities will start coming together and you'll be able to start building a picture of either the next phase of what you're building or the beginning of what you're building. So this four leaf clover is talking about, well, gifts dropping into your lap and there's a not quite yetness. And there's a question about, are you open for this? Are you available for this? Will your faith in what you can't yet see support this? Or is there any old narrative going around that talks about the past? There's a lot of <coughs> narrative around at the moment about well, it's never worked in the past, so why would it work now? It's something like that. But we can't go through this big shift that we're in, a colossal shift. We can't go through that with baggage. So you're gonna be asked to put something down so the serendipity card, I wanted some clarifiers on that. And I can kind of see where this is going. Um, because the first card out is the Four of Pentacles. And I really get, pause, hold on. If you're with limited resource, hold on and wait. But wait with joy and wait with curiosity. She actually looks quite serene in her waiting. And it might be that you're also kind of feeling into your inner Cancerian and 
holding some secrets quite close to you. You might have had an insight of the change in the wind. So you're just kind of holding that close to you and dropping into this pause, which is fabulous. So the right way up, this is about, these are the seeds that I planted and this is how I'm tending them carefully in a timely manner, I want to say, lovingly. And I know it's going to take time. This is loss of faith, never gonna happen. There's that old narrative, impatience, because, you know, <laughs> Capricorn is cardinal earth. It can be a bit unmovable. So I understand that some impatience might be coming in and you've got the death card, okay? <laughs> coming in in reverse, which is about kind of leaning into old narratives that no longer serve a purpose. It's about giving your energy something that's gonna pull you under, not under, it's gonna pull you down out of faith and out of joy and curiosity and hope, out of your sensory perception, maybe back into the mind, into the rational mind. And <laughs> so after this chap came out, I was drawn to pull a book just to read a page from this gorgeous, gorgeous book. It's such a beautiful book. The Boy, the Mole, the Fox and the Horse. And I opened the book up and this came out. So much beauty we need to look after. So many little seedlings I need to tend. I need to take my time with because big picture, we're not building for the here and now. We're not building for the quick hit on the bottom line. We're building legacy because we're beginning this great big new karmic cycle. Okay, and to do that and keep it clean, we need to let go of any old devil narratives that are going to suck us backwards and any loss of faith. Okay, because I'm seeing abundance come in for like the whole wheel. I haven't actually sat and audited the readings from, let's say, through April into May, but I can confidently say most people are coming into abundance. Okay. So, Capricorn, with the yin and the observer, um, You've got the King of Wands and the Nine of Wands. So this is about resilience and staying the course. It's about defending to the end what is worthwhile. And this is about, this guy is an entrepreneur, very passionate, look at all this red energy. Strength, fire, solar plexus, sacral. And what I get from this is the strength to stay the course. This feels like a gritty bit in manifestation where Saturn just isn't dropping it in quickly enough and Jupiter's just been a bit too damn slow with it. Come on already, it's that kind of energy. But it's a real hold fast. And this guy, if he gets impatient, he can be a bit cocky and arrogant. So it's kind of not reaching into that. And I've noticed something. She's kind of, she's looking down her nose. Well, actually they're both looking down. And if I hold these guys the right way up, they're both looking down. <laughs> I just got navel gazing. <laughs> I'm gonna bring that in. Navel gazing, okay. 
looking down. So they've both got their eyes looking like they're closed. Okay. And you can just see their eyes making contact, but there isn't like a So when we close the eyes or when we drop the eyes, the energy automatically comes back in and we automatically move into that sensory perception, that yin energy, okay? So it might serve you well to just do some drifting or daydreaming or meditating if you do meditate, because this change is gonna come in through your intuition, okay? And the serendipity is just good luck. Um, Mm. So it looks like you're in a bit of a pause, okay? You're in a bit of a pause and you're considering whether or not to give up faith in this thing, in will this change ever happen, the change that I already sense in the wind. <laughs> Let's have a look at where you're going. Show me the potential, potential outcomes for Capricorn. Yeah. Potential outcomes for Capricorn, please. Okay, I think that's it. Oh. <laughs> this is young creative energy. Um, it's kind of a very youthful creative energy, which rather suggests this is about birthing something new or something, something being birthed as we speak. Hmm. Yeah. So I think your message for May, certainly for the first half of May, is dig deep and stay with it. Keep the faith because the, I'm going to draw a card for a change in the wind. Whoa, come on. Oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. This could come in fast. You are to stick with it. <laughs> okay, so we've got an alignment of passion. Hold the phone. Capricorn, second half of April, surrender to passion. Look, I'm just saying. Surrender to passion. Okay. These are two very passionate archetypes, highly creative. Business builders, entrepreneurs, creatives. If that sits up there, then it's about controlling those two energies. Okay. Controlling those two energies, the feminine and the masculine. Wow, well, it's definitely coming in. All you have to do is surrender, is keep the faith and surrender. Keep the faith and surrender. Let's see what you can <coughs> surrender to. <coughs> okay, what can Capricorn surrender to in May, please? To help them navigate this pause might be a bit mm. yeah god oh, blimey okay right i'm going to bring that one in with serendipity because look here it comes 
But serendipity is going to drop four leaf clovers into your laps. And can you surrender to receiving support and love? Because even these two fabulous people need support and love. Okay, Capricorns are natural business builders. Hardworking, really tenacious and hardworking. But where is there room for you to receive the support and love from others? Or have you got it all, you know? Are you handling it all? Because you don't have to, it's a choice. Okay, <laughs> yes. Allow the love and support of others in, <laughs> rather than trying to handle everything yourself. <coughs> but look at what it's come into. So this moment now is a pause. It's a pause that's gonna test your faith. So surrender to what is, okay? Write a letter to faith, dear faith. You're pissing me off at the moment. <laughs> Lots of love, Capricorn. <laughs> Lots of love, the stubborn goat. I love you, Cappy. Yeah, I was having this conversation today, actually, um, in the context of um, somebody with anxiety, and anxiety is over there. Flow and peace is now. So surrendering to what is isn't hearts and flowers. It doesn't look like that. It really doesn't look like that. Sometimes, sometimes it can look like that. <laughs> okay because what you imagine might not be going your way right now what you imagine might be stuck right now may be coming through the lens of resentment because it hasn't come in quickly enough or it hasn't manifested the way you wanted it so identify name the resentment and then surrender to it integrate it lift it up love it better love it better because it's come from somewhere real so honor that and we've got enough lions. People. Mm. <laughs> That's a video for another day. <laughs> but I'll give you a heads up. Um, there is an archaic part of the human that's terrified of its full power. Okay. So it makes excuses and it becomes resentful and it gets lost in the stuckness or stuck in the lostness. <laughs> but the lostness is very often just observing that feminine energy. So yeah, change is definitely in the wind. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. Wow, what a challenge here. Be with what is and what is is looking very much like the threat of a loss of faith and a pause. Okay, right. <coughs> that is it, my lovelies. Uh, thank you for being here, Capricorn. Please like, share, subscribe, drop me a comment. I hope you take something useful away with this and happy transition. It's all coming in for you. There's no doubt about it. Take care, my lovelies. Bye-bye.